we are now back with more let's play Castlevania Super Team tonight. Um, when last we left off, we just entered the floating catacombs, which is the last area of the inverted castle which we haven't explored yet. Yeah, when you defeat these um salomes, they transform into cats. And remember the cat eye circler that we got earlier? Yeah. It gives you a huge HP restore if you get hit by a cat. And this is the only cat enemy in the entire game, so that might as well be a joke piece of equipment in my opinion. And more bats, I guess. Let's head to the left first. Yeah, um, if you head out of their range of view, the bats will just respawn. The spike room. Um, I don't feel like equipping my spike breaker, so I'll just navigate through here as bat. You can also do so as mist if you have the power of mist relic. Oh yes, and these yellow skeletons—they are just like the blood skeletons, except they um come back to life much faster. Though I don't think they're the fastest ones. Oh yeah, and those Salomes, they can also, their common drop is a wizard hat, which has the highest defense out of any, um, helmet in the entire game, so, that could be useful for you, however, um, the dragon helm is just that much more useful, because, well, first of all, it increases your attack, and second, it also cuts enemies' defense by half, and yeah, that's a hidden red bean bun there, but, the food's not really that useful. And these are the white blood skeletons, they respawn really quickly. Wrong, wrong direction, man. There we get an elixir, and once again, a wall here is break bowl for a library card. I know there are a lot of um, those white blood skeletons in that hallway. This other enemy here, um, called the Frozen Half, it can drop the Opal Circlet which allows you to absorb ice, but other than that, it's not really that special. Although it does have a cool attack that makes ice rain across the entire screen, I think. Fortunately, it's not that deadly. And we have another hallway full of blood skeletons, except these are the same red ones that uh, we've encountered in basically every Castlevania game. And here we get a life max up and the heart max up. Ah! 
And as you can see here, um, the molten lava from the previous catacombs in the first castle is now moving snow, I think, if that's even possible. Molten snow, I guess that's what it might be called. And here we get the necklace, the necklace of Jay. It basically increases your defense by five, so it's not that useful. And also something interesting of note was the, the necklace of Jay was the accessory that Alucard started off with at the beginning of the game before Death took away all of his equipment. And these green butt skeletons, they also respawn quite quickly. Oh yeah, and the weird thing about this room is that candle light thing all drops is one dollar, so there's no point of that room basically. Here we find another save point, and I'll definitely be using that one because um. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cut the video short here because we're about to fight pretty much the toughest boss in the entire game in that door well passage to the right and it might take longer than 11 minutes to defeat him so i'll be fighting him next time on let's play castlevania symphony of the night <laughs>